So assuming that the joint is worn out, and worn out to us means that the cushion that, ex that normally exists between the ball of the hip and the socket of the hip is worn out, and so the hip, instead of a be going through a very fluid motion with a, with a low resistance articular surface, the bone articulates with the bone. It's a very painful, stiff situation. And this is a model of the shape of the ball of the hip joint. This is the thigh bone, and up in the hip joint there's a ball, and the ball articulates in the socket of the hip joint in here. And this is just a, a pelvis that has an artificial socket in, but it gives you the idea of how it articulates. And <clears throat> there's two main types of hip replacements being performed right now. One is the standard hip replacement, one is a surface replacement. And the indications for those different procedures usually are based on quality of bone and age of the patient. But let's go to the standard hip replacement first. So if we have this model of the top of the hip, this is the ball of the hip, the way you do the standard hip replacement is you remove the ball of the hip with a saw and this ball is worn out and is discarded. And in, 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 in order to compensate for the ball that you remove, you put a new ball in. And the way you secure this new ball into the hip, into the femur bone, is you hollow out the center of the bone to the exact shape of the prosthesis using special instrumentation. And then you insert the new prosthesis into the bone. So we have a new metal neck of the femur and a new metal ball of the femur. And then what we do is the pelvis, which has a bony socket, is the shape of the socket, which is normally oblong, is shaped with an instrument that looks similar to a cheese grater. And this is made round, and we put a new metal socket in. And then the ball articulates with this new metal socket, very similarly to your own natural hip. Now, so this is a standard hip replacement tried and proven um, over many, many years, works beautifully, excellent pain relief. And the newest um, sensation is called a surface replacement. Now a surface replacement is only appropriate for certain people. The bone quality has to be very good. It works better in men than it does in women. And instead of cutting off the ball of the hip joint, like we would with a standard hip replacement, what you do is you mill the top of the person's actual ball into a different shape and then you insert a surface replacement onto that ball, onto the remaining femoral head. So you see that the ball that we put on doesn't substitute for the entire femoral head, only for part of it. And the socket that we use for a surface replacement is the same socket that you'd use for a standard hip replacement. And then this articulates in a very similar way to the standard hip replacement.